Hi, I'm Mike Morales. You are watching Sipping Off the Cuff on Tequila Aficionado Media and Tequila Aficionado. enjoyed our, our our two souls our two souls tequila we just it's almost plata it's still strength. strength it's still strength and tonight we are going to try something really different this is dos almas infused with cinnamon and agave nectar what's he calling it the the cinnamon cinnamon liqueur cinnamon liqueur so this is a cinnamon liqueur mm -hmm. 35 ABV. Made with Reposado tequila. Yes. Um, I'm going to assume it's a double distilled. Uh, you know, I'd imagine that's probably <clears throat> what it is. They're not, I don't, I don't think we got any information as to, as to what, um, you know, whether it's a double or triple or whatever distil distilled. Um, I thought again, it was very, this is, Production one, and for the cinnamon liqueur, they need sixteen hundred bottles. Yep, right there. The only thing we don't have is signed by Emilio De Soto, who is the 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 owner, the brand owner. He's out of out of your neck of the woods in San Diego. From my town. From your town. The only thing I'm really surprised at, though, I don't know why it's telling us on the back. You get these these instructions. Um, it says that. Uh, uh, it does not have the bite familiar with the, to seasoned drinkers, tequila drinkers. So enjoy a sweet and uh, spicy yet cool and refreshing, uh, and a taste that refreshes like no other. But it tells you that you should refrigerate it. Um, I'm not sure. It says refrigerate after opening and keep cold until you've savored the last drop. You know, um, unless I make, uh, unless there's milk in it, <laughs> or some kind of, milk, <laughs> you know, that needs to be refrigerated, like a 1921 crema or, or some of the other ones that, that uh, you know that are out there on the market, I'm I'm gonna, uh, you have yours at room temp, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's probably where I'm gonna keep it. You know, I'll keep a good seal on it, keep it out of the sun, but. Yeah, you know, put God it forbid in. somebody should get into it, right, and make it spicy. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it next to my espresso machine. Ah, look at that. Oh, you've, you've, you know, for those of you who are following us on Instagram, you saw that picture of the hot chocolate. It, it, that was Rick's shot of the hot chocolate with the with the cinnamon in it. Um, be aware. I don't know why it's happening to me, Rick, but uh, but the caps are popping right off. The hot. Maybe it's that Texas heat melting your glue. I. If, it hasn't been hot enough lately, but you know who knows. I I don't know. That's good. Maybe it's that cinnamon that that's just you know too strong. I don't mm. know. You know, it's got a great nose off the bottle. Well, you um, just yeah. for the sake of trying. I'm going to use my glass from Chisholm Trail. From Chisholm Trail, the the Borm, Borm, the Borm 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 Ooh, look at that color. It's got a little bit of a red. And, yeah, I'm using a Riedel for this one, and that's that's like a that's almost like a yeah, it all it's it's a deep red. Yeah. That's almost like a blood red. I've had cough medicine this this color. <laughs> <laughs> now the uh, so this is a liqueur. This is a liqueur. So it's not going to have the same strength of a uh, you know a regular. Tequila, and uh, it's going to be sweeter and thicker because it has agave nectar in it. What a wonderful oh, nose! Holy, oh, even a nose. Wow. Now it's not like other cinnamons that we've had. You know, um, Alex and I had had the Peligroso cinnamon, and you have a bottle at home. Yeah, and I, you know, I'm a big fan of the Peligroso cinnamon. Yeah, me, well. we are too. We, you know, we we had we gave it a, a brand of promise. Uh, metal uh in in its category it's just so well done it is very very well done in fact uh uh i believe the other one that we gave a medal to was uh maple liqueur uh cinnamon um it, it's got a little bit of maple and cinnamon together mm -hmm. i think they had to do that for the for the american market 
but that's a completely different flavor profile. Yeah. This is this don't is don't feel you have to do that for this America. Wow, no. <laughs> what is that on? What is that I'm getting? Like what was it that you? What, what what kind of cinnamon are they using for this? So this is, uh, oh, where is it? Uh, organic Indonesian Ceylon cinnamon sticks. Wow. And organic pure agave if I, were to, if I were to tell you that something smells like an aphrodisiac, <laughs> this would be it. Holy cow, man. What a nose on this it thing. It is just, it is a beautiful cinnamon nose. This, but it's not, it's not the cinnamon that I'm used to, though. It's not what I'm used to, to smelling. This, what are they, what are they smoking in it's Indonesia, not... man? <laughs> It's it's not the uh, McCormick cinnamon that you're sprinkling on your toast. Yeah, it's not you know it's not that pumpkin spin cinnamon spice thing that I'm getting. This is a completely different thing. Holy moly, that's gorgeous. I don't even know what to say. I don't know how to, unless you've had it or if you're you bake or you've used really exotic spices. This is more like an exotic cinnamon spice. If I were to go that far, it you know to, to try to narrow things down, this is unlike any. It's not Red Hots, and it's not your average cinnamon stick that you get at the supermarket. Yeah. This is really something. Wow, this is like it's got like fruit. It's like a fruity cinnamon. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Yeah, you know it's certainly sweet. The the agave you can get the agave um, nectar right off the top. Yeah. But it's like the cinnamon is floating in the agave. Mm -hmm. I can distinguish the two, and when I um, when I savor it when it's on my palate, um, it it and even the retronasal. Then I'm I'm more familiar. It, it becomes a more familiar cinnamon to me. But the but the nose, you don't even know, you couldn't even distinguish what that is until you've actually had it. You've swallowed it and you retronasal it back, to where you're getting that cinnamon and the agave. But it's a, it's really well balanced. Yeah. I'm I'm really impressed. This is really and it's not you know it's not like a sticky sweet. Um, no. You know, like some like some of the tequila liqueurs. You know, it is. Uh, it's, you know, you can really you can really taste the uh, the uh, agave nectar, and you know, so it has like you know that little bit of a honey aspect to it. Yes, um, but but it is balanced. You can if you've had enough of these and you've you, you've had tequilas infused with agave nectar, you can distinguish yeah. the two. You know, especially if you're familiar with, with cinnamon, but that Indonesian is really makes a big difference, I think. Yeah. Uh, and it's not a hot cinnamon. Um, and, uh, you know, it's fairly clean on the palate. Yeah. Um, somebody's handing me a note on, on what they're thinking. It's, it's a... Uh, this just in. This just in. It, uh, I'm getting someone, <laughs> someone, <laughs> someone off camera has... Just off the it, wire. Yeah. And says it's more like a woody cinnamon stick it's it's almost you know how some extra añejos you may get some cinnamon or spice coming from a barrel or or a blending of, yeah that's what this is kind of like this is yeah this, but, and you know it makes sense because the cinnamon stick is actually made from a bark right, a right. Tree bark. yeah it's a it's a bark but it but it, again, it's it's got to be that Indonesian thing. There's a there's an exotic something or other. It is really different. It's not. You can attest to this that it is not the same as a a peligroso cinnamon, which is extremely mm -hmm. well done. Um, and Alex and I had it at, at two different ABVs, which was really weird. Yeah. At thirty five and thirty two. Yeah. Something the or the original was forty two. Uh, along with the rest of the Pelagrosso line, right? They it do was, it was a higher, so it's a it was slightly higher. overproofed. Yeah, but, but, it, uh, but even then, done well, you know. Yeah. So let's see, what else am I getting here? 
And so the uh, the MSRP on this is fifty five for the bottle for seven fifty. Um, but right now um, I found it at Old Town Tequila uh, fifty six dollars for two bottles. So they're doing so they're a two running for a one special kind of for thing. that too. Oh my yeah. God! Get yourself two. One for yeah, after dinner so, and one to mix in your hot chocolate. Oh, you said you keep it next to your coffee maker, huh? <laughs> yeah, you know, I like I like to make a Mexican coffee and throw in some cinnamon tequila liqueur, you know, the Peligroso, or certainly now the Dos Almas. Yeah, wow. So, um, let's see, what is that, 25 or something? $28 right now at Old Town? You know, that is... How can you go wrong with this hard. stuff? Oh, yeah. I, I'm sorry, Brand of Promise nominee... Uh, you know, in the, the the cinnamon in the liqueur, you know, in the liqueur category, it's uh, somebody said to me, it's what a cinnamon broom smells like. Cinnamon, cinnamon. broom. So it would be like a clump of, of raw cinnamon. Yeah, yeah, like the, the the actual plant itself, instead of the processed, over processed, commercial, like you said, the McCormick version versus mm -hmm. you know. The stuff you pull out of the ground in Indonesia, wow! Yeah. This is really different, folks. It's not. It reminds me a little bit of the uh, of the uh, cinnamon that I get from Costco, because it's like you know more of an exotic cinnamon that you know comes in this big thing at Costco. Of course, everything at Costco is big, but you know I'm not a big tea drinker, but I will venture to say that this would be great in tea. Hot tea, oh, definitely. iced tea. You know, here here in Texas, yeah. it's a big, it's 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 tea country. You know, they they drink a lot yeah. of tea. I, put it in, put it in your black bit. tea to make a sweet tea. That would be fantastic. Cider. You could, yeah, uh, or you could put it in. Uh, you know, like a red tea would be wonderful. Um, wow. You could use it to sweet. You know, any of the herbal teas, I guess, as long as it, you know, you made sure the flavors kind of matched. Um, they actually, one of the things they recommended, well, they actually recommended, you know, throwing a shot into your cocoa or coffee, which, um, you know, I've done and is wonderful. Um, I've also tried just throwing it, uh, directly into a shot of espresso and having it that way. And that was great as well. It added just enough sweetness to the shot to take the edge off. And, you know, the cinnamon was a nice aspect to it. Um, and, you know, you could do that either hot or cold. Yeah, I, you know, I think this is chilled as well for, for either, yes. Yeah, and uh, something else they recommended was just throwing a shot of it into uh, some soda water on ice. And I tried that as well, and that was actually very nice as well. Yeah, um, we used to, uh, years ago, I, I, I worked for a company that sold Monin syrups. And we used to make, I used to love making Italian sodas, which is basically just the syrup. And 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 uh, you know and soda water. water, and we'd make them with uh, with stuff like pineapple or with kiwi flavor. Monin it makes some of the, the, in my opinion, some of the greatest syrups for coffee and for drinks like that. And I can see this very much in an Italian. I, I we call them Italian sodas. This would taste more like a Campari and soda. You know, you put this in a little in a little bit of soda, and you got your your tequila and soda instead of a Campari and soda. Wow. Yeah. That's and you know everybody like too. It looks like Campari. <laughs> it's a matter of a lot of people have these soda soda stream machines now too. So it's easy to make your own carbonated yeah. water at home. Yeah. Oh my! How refreshing. I can see this as a as a as a cold and hot weather, and I can't say that for some of the other cinnamons, the more traditional tasting cinnamons. Like again, mm -hmm. Peligroso cinnamon. We go back to that one, because the only other one we've ever had here was uh, Singe. What yeah. would you think about uh, what would you think about maybe uh, muddling some fresh mint in soda water with this? I think so because because again, it's not your typical cinnamon. This is more of a of a. I said that that it was it had like fruity overtones, so I would I would, this would be great if you're a mixologist, and you want to experiment with muddled fruit, with something like this, go for it because I think it would stand up. And, and the cinnamon is not, again, night and day for me. Peligroso cinnamon versus this one. There's something about that, that the cinnamon that they're using 
that I think is 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 really makes it different. And of course, it's, this is in reposado tequila, as well. Mm -hmm. So now we've had we've had the the what was it the Serrano uh, the añejo soltado. That's got a little bit of serrano pepper and cinnamon. You know, they, they always seem to blend a cinnamon with something else. And this one, this one is so unique that they that all they did was blend it with a repo, you know, and that was it. And that's all it took. And of course, some agave syrup, but or agave, um, what is it? Nectar. Agave nectar. Uh, hey, Brandon Promise nominee in the liqueur category. I love this stuff. Now I know why you keep it next to your coffee. <laughs> oh my God! I think we got to do that next. We got to keep do it. I'm going to throw it in a shot of espresso tomorrow and see what we get. But that's our take on Dos Almas again at Z Tequila right now. Or as you're watching, hopefully by the time this two for out, one for fifty six dollars. Two for one. It's a steal. Get yourself some. One for winter. One for summer. You're gonna you're gonna want it because this is. It's a very versatile version of, of a cinnamon tequila. Very, very well done. Congratulations to Emilio and, and all the guys at the, what is it, Two Surfers? Is that what the, is that what the name of the company is? Uh, Friends Who Surf. Friends Who Surf in San Diego. Congratulations. Great job, guys. Very well done. That's our take on Dos Almas Cinnamon Liqueur. I'm Mike Morales here in San Antonio. Recording in San Diego. And you've been watching Sipping Off the Cuff on TequilaAficionado.com, Tequila Aficionado Media, and YouTube. Watch, watch for that red Enjoy our now. selection of other videos. Subscribe, <laughs> please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribe. And, and if there's a link to our, if you, if you haven't done it yet, subscribe to our newsletter also, so that way you never miss a beat on any of this stuff. Thanks again for watching, as we like to say here, Tomar Sabiamente. Sip life.